Listening is giving, listening is giving. To listen is to give. Listening is giving, listening is giving. To listen is to give. And when you listen with your eyes, you see. When you listen with your ears, you hear. When you listen with your body, you fly. When you listen with your heart, you love. For oh, listening is giving, listening is giving. To listen is to give. Hi friends, how do you feel today? I feel grateful to be together again in the barn studio. And we have an exciting day ahead of us. Later, we will have our big, big concert at the Nature Center. And right now, I have a surprise for you. Did you notice something colorful as I walked into the barn studio today? Let's see what there is to see in the satchel. This colorful scarf is a feeling, and I'm feeling very much like this color. What color do you see? I see red. And what's something you know that's red? Can you imagine what it might be like to feel like that thing? Let's throw our feeling to the ceiling. Ba -bum. And that's not all I'm feeling today. I'm also feeling. Green. I'm feeling very green. And what's something that you know that's green? I was thinking about the little seed that we planted on the windowsill. That one day will be a lettuce plant. Can you imagine what it would feel like to grow so fast? Let's throw that feeling to the ceiling. Ba -bum. And that's not all I'm feeling today. I'm also feeling very, very, very much Whew. yellow. What a big feeling to feel. What's something you know that's yellow? Amazing, friends. To feel yellow and green and red and like all those things, it can be a challenge to juggle those feelings. Would you play a game with me? Okay. Up to the ceiling, I'll throw a feeling, and if you see a feeling, fly to the ceiling. Could you tell me which color you see fly? One more time, okay. Up to the ceiling, I'll throw a feeling. If you see a feeling, fly to the ceiling. Could you tell me which color you see fly? Let's try. We could try it. One, two, ready, go. And a little bit faster, we'll go. Oh, friends, it was amazing to see our feelings fly so high. I wonder what it would feel like to fly. I wish we knew. I wish. Friends, it's wishing well. Hi, wishing well. How do you feel today? And did you hear us say wish? Wishing well, could we make a wish today? We can, okay. Me, 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 me. Well, well, wishing well. Here we are together again. Well, well, wishing well. Let's take the time to wish, my friends. Okay, wishing well. We wish that we knew what it feels like to fly. Okay. 
we'll place our colorful scarves in Wishing Well's back end. And we can sing our wishing song. We could sing something like, me, 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 me. We wish, we wish, we wish, we wish, we wish. We wish, we wish, we wish, we wish, we wish. What's this wishing well? Letters. Wishing well. Is this a clue? It is a clue. I wonder if these letters spell a word. This feels like a riddle, and one that we could explore with the space on our felt board. Come on, let's go. Okay. I, W, D, N. I W D N. Is this a word you recognize? Perhaps we could rearrange the letters until we see a word we recognize. Is this a word you recognize? Wind, I see wind. Our clue is solved, but what does it mean? Well, wind is moving air. How could we move air with our bodies? <sighs> That's a good idea. What's another way we could move air with our bodies? our hands, like a fan. I've got two hands and two fans. Twice as cool on a hot day. Wait a second. If I move like this, what does it look like? Wings, that's right. Creatures with wings can fly. Like butterflies or birds. The Nature Center has real live birds. We're going there for our big, big concert. Perhaps we could leave early, meet real birds, and learn more about how they fly and how we could feel like we're flying. Friends, would you like to fly with me? All right, let's go. See you soon, wishing well. See you soon, little seed. Let's go. Friends, we made it to the Nature Center. A Nature Center is a place where people come together to support the land, all that grows from the land and the animals supported by the land. This nature center focuses on birds. The folks here know so much about birds and they try hard to help injured birds back into the wild. Let's go find Anna. She loves birds and has been studying them for many years. Friends, I think I see Anna and a new friend. Are you ready to meet a new friend? Okay. Hi there. Hi, Anna. 
Nice to see you. This is Bloomfield, <laughs> and Bloomfield is ready to fly. She is a red-tailed hawk. She is beautiful. Hello, Bloomfield. We were hoping to know more about what it feels like to fly. What do you think that she feels like when she flies? Oh, that's really hard to know, because we're, as humans, we're not birds, and we don't have all the adaptations that they do that help them get up into the air. For example, all of her feathers on her wings that she's showing off right now, each one of those feathers makes up the shape of the wing. And that shape, that very specific curve that it has, allows her to lift up into the sky, allows the wind passing over to carry her up. Oh, the wind. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us more about how the wind helps birds like Bloomfield fly? For sure. Well, the wind in the places where she's flying is always moving, and it's always moving in different directions. Sometimes it's moving directly up into the sky, like an elevator. When hot air comes off the land during the day, as the sun warms everything up, that air rises up into the sky, and she can get in on that little elevator. Also, she might use the updrafts that form along mountainsides. As the wind blows against the mountain, it has to go somewhere, and it often goes directly up. And so she will follow that line of mountains if she's migrating somewhere, for example, going south for the winter. Yes, so Bloomfield can feel the wind, sort of like we can look on a map and see the roads and mm -hmm. the contours of the land. Exactly. Incredible. Yeah. Now, what makes a bird a bird? What are characteristics that are unique to birds? For sure. Well, the feathers is a big thing. Birds all have feathers. They also all have certain adaptations inside their body that you can't see that help them get up in the sky that shed weight. Their bones, for example, are hollow, and they have a lot of bones that are fused together. So we have about 200 bones as human beings, and she has much fewer than that because they're joined. Also, she's got a big bone that protrudes directly out of her chest like this. It's called a keel, like, a, like the keel on a ship. And that's where all of the muscles that power her flight attach. So she's got really big, beefy muscles <laughs> on her chest that help her make that flapping motion and sustain it. I see. Yeah. So you're very, very strong, Bloomfield. Yes, she is. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's something inside all of us that can't be seen that brings us that strength. It's so nice to know what is unique about you, Bloomfield, and what makes you strong and helps you to fly. Mm -hmm. I do so wish that I could feel what it feels like to fly, and I know we have many friends out there who wish the same thing. Mm -hmm. I know that we have other friends here today, too. Do you think that we could meet another bird friend today? I think so. In fact, I think I see another bird friend who's already <laughs> ready to come meet us. You're never going to guess who is coming next. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. Hello. Hi, Mr. Chris. I'm Nathan. Hi, nice Stuart. you, Nathan. And who is this? This is Troy. He is a barred owl. And barred owls are very common owls here in this part of the country. They like forests, and we have a lot of forests here. Hi. Hi, Troy. It's very nice to meet you. I know that. Uh, uh, many, many kiddos are very fascinated by owls, the sounds they make, and also this peculiar thing you can see Troy doing, how far Troy can turn his head. Can you tell us more about, about that? Yeah, owls are known to be able to turn their heads almost all the way around. You might have seen he just did it. He put his head on backwards. And they have to be able to do this because well, for two reasons. Their eyes only point forward. Unlike a human's eyes, we can move our eyes left and right and up and down, all around. Owls can't do that. The other reason is the shape of his face. We call it a facial disc, but basically it allows him to hear really well. But it only works in one direction. And the way that we talk about it in terms of humans is if we cup our hands and put them behind our ears and we give a listen, everything in front of us becomes a little louder, but only the stuff in front of us. So 
he wants to be able to point that facial disc everywhere so he can rotate his neck almost all the way around. Oh, that's fascinating. We could pretend to be owls for a moment. We could create our facial discs, cup our ears, turn our heads around, and listen to what's around us. I just heard a black cat chickadee. There are so many different types of birds here at the Nature Center. Uh, some who are flying on their own, and then some who have come here because they've been injured, is that right? Yes, that is. And Troy was actually one of those birds long ago. He has a left eye that doesn't see very well at all, so we take care of him because of that reason. Mm -hmm. So he has found a home here yeah. amongst friends. Mm -hmm. It's amazing how you can find friends in the most uh, unsuspecting places. I love surprises. I love to meet new friends. And I see another new friend coming this way. I don't think I've ever seen a bird quite like this up close. Thank you, Nathan. My pleasure. And we'd be very lucky to see a bird like this up close because they spend a lot of time really, really high up in the air. This is Hawaii, and Hawaii is a peregrine falcon. How fast can a peregrine falcon fly? They've been measured at over 240 miles an hour, which is hard to imagine. That's faster than most cars can go, even the fastest racing cars. That's incredible. And they've got a lot of things that help them survive going that fast, because I find it amazing. You know, if you've ever stuck your head out of a car window when it's going really fast, it's hard to breathe. Yeah. But they have a little extra bone in their nose that helps break up the flow of air. They also have an extra membrane, like another eyelid, that covers their eyes so that their eyes don't dry out when they're traveling that quickly. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. We've talked about how wind can help a bird fly, but I hadn't thought about how wind in your face <laughs> might be a hard thing to handle. Kind of tough. It's amazing how birds have developed these unique characteristics to do what they do so well. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad that he did. Mm -hmm. I'm very happy that we got to meet Hawaii today. Yes. Hawaii, thank you for being brave mm -hmm. to come to meet our you friends. Get a special treat for this. Oh, nice. Oh, mm. there you go. <laughs> oh, I see one more friend. This is Chesterland. Chesterland. Chesterland is a Harris's hawk. Mm -hmm. We met uh, a red-tailed hawk mm -hmm. already, and this is a Harris's hawk? Yeah. How is a Harris's hawk different from a red-tailed hawk? Harris's hawks differ in a lot of ways, actually. They're a smaller, sleeker, skinnier bird. They have a longer tail that is narrower. He's showing you a good shot of his tail right now. They have fewer feathers on their feet, so they stop higher up, which helps him stay cool because he lives in the desert, or at least Harris's hawks live in the desert. Okay. He also has eyebrows that stick out really far over his eyes that do the same thing that a baseball cap does for us. It prevents the sunlight from getting into his eyes in the sunny desert. I can see in the way he moves, sometimes it appears as if he is about to take flight. He crouches down and he makes that sound and I expect him to just fly right into the sky. Oh, I do wish I knew what it felt like to be able to... Well, I do. I do. I wish I could fly like you, Chesterland. I'm happy to meet you and, and learn about you today. <laughs> and Nathan, do you think that we could watch Chesterland fly today? Sure. Okay. Hannah and Nathan will get ready, and we'll see if Chesterland is ready to fly.
Nicole. Mr. Chris, where are you flying off to? I'm flying to check in with kiddos and talk about birds. Where are you flying to? I'm flying to check in with kiddos about how birds move. Wonderful. Will I see you at the Big Big concert later? See you then. Okay. Have you guys seen some birds today? Yeah. You have? You've seen one? Yes! Over there. Over there? What kind of bird did you see today? I saw an eagle. You saw an eagle? Hi, Leo. Hi. Are you having fun at the Nature Center today? Yeah. What does a bird look like? What? It has like a sh um, an oval shaped um, body and, and it has like jet wings. It looks like jet wings. Uh, like this? Uh huh. What do you think it would feel like to fly? Um, fun. Have you ever wished that you could fly? Yes. To see more things that the human eye can't see. If you could fly, would, would you? Yeah. Yeah? Where would you fly to? Maine. Maine? Yeah. Why would you fly to Maine? And then I would swoop down and get my play. You would? Yeah. It's very, very nice to talk to you today, Abby. Thank you. Bye. Goodbye. Yes! Friends, welcome to the Big Big Concert. Hi, Wishing Well. Oh, Wishing Well. We met so many birds today. All of the birds had something in common, the same. And each bird had something different and beautiful that made them unique. 
and thank you for your clue wishing well. We learned how wind helps birds fly and so much more about our feathered friends. Wishing well, if I go to grab the letters, could we give our clue back to you now? Okay. And we can sing. Me, 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 me. We wished, we wished, we wished, we wished, we wished. We wished and made our wish come true. What's this wishing well? A memory. A little feather. Thank you, wishing well. And we'll see you next time, wishing well. Deal. We'll hang our memory right by the door. So every time we walk in, we can remember our time together. And it won't be long until we see each other again. Well, I love singing goodbye. Let me tell you why. For every time we sing goodbye, it means it won't be long until we sing hello again. So until then, friends. Goodbye. See you later. Goodbye. Farewell. Goodbye. Adios. Goodbye. Saitien. And may we always cherish what we've had. And then next time we'll play again. See you next time, friends.